All right. What is? Hey, Wooly. Yes. How, when you go to a urinal, uh, how much are you taking out? Because uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a backstory here. I'm gonna have a backstory here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I recently, uh, I, I went to the public wa washroom, right? Okay. And when I, uh, uh, I was taught, and I mentioned to Paige that it sucks that because i hate using the regular urinal mm -hmm. and i always use the child's urinal because mm -hmm. it's so much shorter <laughs> because <laughs> wait go, wait we're gonna get there yeah we're gonna get there. oh yeah no we're gonna get there means. we're gonna get there yeah don't click the clip button just yet go on because when like i like when i used the regular man's urinal yesterday like my balls were so close to touching the Ooh. urinal that it made me super nervous. Yeah, that's bad. You don't want that. That's terrible. And, and like, I, me and Paige are having this conversation on Twitter because why not? Fuck it. Of course. Um, as you solve all these issues. And people are like, well, why the fuck are you taking your balls out of your fucking pants? Like, well, how are you supposed to piss if you don't take your balls out of your fucking pants? I, I see. I see. So what we have here... Because the dick in your balls go over the waistband of your underwear through the hole in your pants. So so we have a butter situation where the ass is out and we drop no, it no, right no, down no. to the ankles. No, you use... You, because it feels good, man. Your, no, no, you zip your, 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 your zipper and then you reach in there and you pull the whole thing out over the waistband. Okay. And then, you got, and then people are like, well, why would you put it over the waistband? I'm like, how are you supposed to get it out then? Well, look... I mean, sometimes I'm wearing the kinds of boxers where it's much easier for me to simply lift one of the pant legs and just right, okay. use that. So yeah. that ends up being the simplest way most of the time. Um, other times, depending on, again, the boxer brief type, you can mm. use the flap in the front, at which point we're just, it's just, it's just shaft peeking out the you know it's just shaft it. coming out we don't there's no need for the whole thing lock stock so someone on twitter.com said why do you think that flap is there just for show and i actually was like oh shit is that what the flap in your underwear is for yeah i've you... been going over the waistband for 30 fucking years but that hurts that's yeah, fucking suck. Why do you think I hate going to the bathroom in a public urinal? Like using the elastic to fucking like that. That's painful <laughs> for no reason. You you have an opening flap that is meant. I for thought you that was to... some kind of fabric breathability thing. <laughs> you know, it's just you just you open it up and then that's it. And it's just at that point if you're trying to shove full package and you know frank and beans through the damn thing then that's your fault there's no reason for that that's no, crazy no i guess you don't need okay well you, know. you don't need the, the elastic band pressure you well, don't know yeah, because that's yeah crazy. no it's not good well i you know you learn something new every day yeah you know? well you know that's it yeah you, you, you don't you don't need yeah okay well well i've learned something today Yes. Though it does it does suck using like an adult urinal because um you look like a tiny person more than normal. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you look like more of a tiny person by using the the child's urinal? I mean, look, man, <laughs> if everything's pretty busy, I've I've taken the child's urinal and it's been rough cuz it's like please don't splatter. So then yeah. there's a whole technique um yeah. at which point you're like let's get it higher up so that you're not going straight you're coming hitting an angle and you're minimizing yeah. splash so you have to learn that <laughs> technique but fortunately if you're doing the pant leg like yeah. method as i described then you're already angling downwards so that you're not creating a See, splashback point this is this is why you just you just skip all these these logistical problems by like if you're in your own house you just get completely undressed every time you go to the bathroom <laughs> 
You just you just like every single time you go to the bathroom, you just take off all your clothes yeah, and put them to the side. Again, the, the the butters, you know. No, look, man, do what you want in your own house. God, God, God bless. I, I fucking will. I will. <laughs> quite frankly, but no, I feel like I've learned, depending on which boxer I'm wearing, the most optimized way to go about this. And you know. Well, you know, the important thing is that I learned this before I had to teach it wrong to someone else. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what? That's what that's what really matters. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I'm going to end up dude, I'm going to end up calling my dad on the phone like all the time and it's going to be super cringe. Oh, well. <sighs> There are, um, there's a proper game of Minesweeper you're going to be playing here with yeah. every lesson taught, you realize. I am well aware. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I live in fear of teaching the boy. All right, so this is how you do this totally normal thing. Dad, all the kids at school made fun of me because of the way you taught me to tie my shoes. Why? They said I tied my shoes like a freak. Mom, this is how dad taught me to tie my shoes. And then Paige comes in and goes, why'd you teach him to tie his shoes like a freak? And I go, wait, what? Yeah, and, and... Do I tie my <laughs> shoes like a freak? What's wrong with bunny ears? Uh, Works yeah. every time. I mean, it, it is a nice reality check moment, right? In life to be <laughs> like, to have a halfway point, like, hold on. What are we doing here? Let's go over each one of these things <laughs> from the beginning. Take it from the top, right? And as as you're going through with the kids, you can't you gotta get to learn one by one. What the fuck did you learn wrong as a joke? Yeah. <sighs> um. I mean, look, I I, I <laughs> tying shoes was was particular was a tricky one for me, but a, a bunch of weird. Oh, well, a bunch of shit was tricky because I skipped grade one and ended up missing out on a bunch of like, again, like non-cursive writing. The first handwriting I ever learned was cursive. So, oh, that's strange. Right. That's... And, and a bunch of weird shit that you kind of all get established in. I, I like I I believe that like even left and right is a grade one thing that gets established. No, you know, that, your parents are supposed to teach you that before you go to school. All right. Well, you know. Maybe that's one of those that's things that's that's not for schooling. That's 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 home stuff. But I, I just I ideally I, you should be able to read before you go to school. OK, well, I just remember ideally. I just remember coming out the other side of that going like, oh, fuck, I missed some fundamentals here. And uh, it uh, it made some some other stuff tricky. So anyway, um, <laughs> well, thank you for your input. Yeah, anytime. Now let's listen to the guy who doesn't know how to take his dick out of his pants talk about layoffs in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spur me from my own brain. I had a I had a bunch of dumb jokes that were not going anywhere and uh let's just <laughs> let's let's just move on. Yeah.